Hi, I'm Brian. Kettle's on, make yourself a cup of tea. Now today I want to talk about the news that Charlie Cox will be coming to the MCU as Daredevil. Now as you know, Charlie Cox played Daredevil in the Netflix show, which was brilliant, especially season one and three. Season two was okay, but it was a big drop in quality from the first series. And now Kevin Feige has confirmed that Charlie Cox will be coming to the MCU at some point, be that in a Disney Plus show or a movie. Now, I do have mixed feelings about this. Charlie Cox was fantastic as Daredevil. There's no doubt about that. That is not being disputed. But the Netflix Daredevil show was a lot more violent and adults orientated compared to what the MCU is. And... Obviously, the styles wouldn't fit together, so it does mean that if he does come to the MCU, it is highly likely that it will be a more family-friendly approach to the character, which could work, but I do have my reservations about that. But this article is from Cinema Blend, and it says, Kevin Feige confirms Daredevil casting in the MCU, and fans will be pumped. Over the years, certain actors have grown to become synonymous with the Marvel character they were hired to play. Robert Downey Jr. is Tony Stark, Chris Evans has claimed the fabric of Steve Rogers, some roles can get recast, like Edward Norton handling Hulk to Mark Ruffalo, or Don Cheadle replacing Terence Howard, but many lay claims to their character, and that's final. That's how many MCU fans feel about Charlie Cox and his portrayal as the blind attorney Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil. Now being called to bring Cox over to the MCU and allow him to keep playing the man without fear, and it seems like Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige has been listening. The man behind the machine that is the MCU sat down with Cinema Blend recently and fielded out questions about Daredevil and the character's portrayal in the MCU. Now that his Netflix show has run its course, it would be a shame not to feature Daredevil in either Marvel feature or a Disney Plus show. And we asked Feige what he thought about Charlie Cox being able to stay in the part. To our surprise, the usually covert Kevin Feige confirmed the news that so many fans will want to hear when he told Cinema Blend. If you went to see Daredevil in upcoming things, Charlie Cox, yes, would be the actor playing Daredevil. Where we see that, how we see that, when we see that, remains to be seen. Kevin Feige still kept some cards close to his vest with regard to the future of Daredevil when it comes to a concrete timeline. But those who love Charlie Cox's portrayal of the character can rejoice in knowing that he will return to Hell's Kitchen at some point and patrol the streets on behalf of the neighbourhood citizens. And in light of a number of shows that have been developing, bringing Daredevil over makes more sense than it might have when Netflix show ran its course. For instance, Hawkeye and Disney Plus just introduced the character of Echo, a deaf warrior with connections to Wilson Fisk, aka the Kingpin, and Daredevil has been a constant thorn in Fisk's side for decades in the comics. There's been rumours that Vincent Dufino, apologise if that name is not being pronounced correctly, also from the Netflix Daredevil show, is about to show up on Hawkeye, so pitting Cox against his former co-star is natural progression. If Marvel Studios only wanted to explore the legal aspects of Matt Murdock, who is as powerful in the courtroom as he is in the darkened alley, then Daredevil would be a natural fit on She-Hulk, another Disney Plus show that's in production now that will introduce audiences to Jennifer Walters, yet another superpowered citizen who practices law. Why was this such a common thing at Marvel Comics over the years? Charlie Cox's take on Matt Murdock and Daredevil was incredibly popular with Marvel fans, and an improvement over Ben Affleck's efforts in a Doom Daredevil movie that cast MCU rock star John Favreau as Happy Hogan. We will see how many Netflix players follow Charlie Cox to the MCU, if and when he arrives, but according to Kevin Feige, it's happening, and we know that fans will be overjoyed. So there we have it, according to this article, Charlie Cox is coming to the MCU as Daredevil, which does beg the obvious question, was the leaked photo from Spider-Man No Way Home featuring Charlie Cox genuine or not? Could it be as soon as later this month where we do get to see him? Like I said, I do have mixed feelings about this because the Netflix shows were a lot different to what the MCU is. I mean, don't get me wrong, Charlie Cox was fantastic and I would love to see more of him in the role of Daredevil, but I don't think it would be the same version of Daredevil we got on Netflix, just purely because the MCU is geared more towards family audiences, which makes sense, the big blockbuster movies, all the Disney Plus shows are geared towards families and a younger audience to kind of show the amount of violence what Netflix did, which is part of the problem. I mean, you've set up Charlie Cox as the character of Daredevil in a much more violent turn, and having him back in a watered-down role, would it be a disappointment? I mean, I think for many fans, 
It could be, but I think for many fans, it's just having Charlie Cox back as Daredevil would be enough for them. I think to be overjoyed to see it. I mean, he did play the role fantastic, played it a lot better than Ben Affleck did, although I will admit I am a fan of the Ben Affleck's Daredevil movie, especially the director's cut, which, much like the Snyder Cut of Justice League and the extended edition of Batman vs Superman, the extended cut of Daredevil makes a lot more sense than the theatrical cut. But with Charlie Cox coming back to play Daredevil in the MCU, does make you wonder if Vincent Delfino, again, apologies if that name is pronounced incorrectly, but just making wonder if he is coming back to reprise his role as Kingpin, as many things he is going to appear in Hawkeye. I mean, if Charlie Cox comes back as Daredevil, I think he is the only person that could get to come back as Wilson Fisk, because, again, he was fantastic in the role, played him brilliantly. But what do you guys think? Are you excited to hear of the news that Charlie Cox is reprising his role as Daredevil? Are you, like me, hesitant in thinking it's not going to be as good as the Daredevil we've got on Netflix? Do let me know in the comments below. And that's all from me. I'm off to make a fresh cup of tea.